It's really easy to get Tracking 202 and Prosper 202 working with 7Search. Let me show you how to get that done. First, let's add in 7Search as a source for traffic. We'll add that. And then let's create an account. I'll call this the main account. And then um, optionally, you can add in a pixel, um, which will automatically fire conversions into 7Search when they happen. So let's get that set up as well. Let's use um, the image pixel, and then we'll get the pixel URL from 7Search directly. I'll switch over to my 7Search account right now. So here's the 7Search dashboard. Um, what you want to do is first turn on conversion tracking. And then 7Search will give you code that you can place on your website. So you can choose the kind of conversion. So purchase, lead, or sign up. Let's do purchase for now and you can let them know whether this is a secure pixel or non-secure um, depending on whether you have SSL enabled on your um, Prosper install you can choose secure or non-secure um, if you do not have SSL it's actually not going to fire the pixel so um, in this example I'll show you the non-secure version double check to make sure you have SSL enabled on your domain name or on the conversion page before you turn on um, this feature. You can set up the um, value of the conversion, which is optional, and then pick the um, site IDs. But for now, this is the code. And notice that at the <laughs> bottom here, there is the conversion image. There's an image tag here. So I'm going to copy that and then paste that into um, a text editor for easy editing. So I'm here in my text editor. I'm going to paste the code. And what I want to grab is the image source. It's right here. I'll copy that and then go over to Tracking 202 and paste that right here. So I already selected image and notice I didn't add any of the rest of the image tag. I just put the URL. That's all that's needed and uh, tracking to a tool will create the rest of it. So let's add that. And we're set up here and um, I've already got a sample campaign in my account. So let's go straight to generating the links. I'm picking my sample campaign, direct linking, 7Search as the channel, then the main account, set so CPC to 10 cents. We'll leave the C1 through C4 variables out of this and then generate a link. So here is the link. I'm going to grab that and go back to the text editor. I'll paste that in here and and then um, let's go look in 7Search because in order to pass in the keyword variables that you bid on you actually have to enter in a 7Search token and the value of that is keyword but I'll show you where to find that so uh, do create first campaign and over here it says customize your ad using the keyword variable. So we'll take that, copy, and then paste that in here. So this is the link that you'll be pasting into 7Search for your um, URL. So destination URL is this link right here. The display URL 
is the actual domain that you're going to end up on after everything is redirected through. So you do not need to use the same domain name that your Prosper uh, 202 uh, is hosted on. You can just use wherever the user will end up on after all the redirects are done. That's all um, that's needed to get your Prosper 202 and Tracking 202 accounts set up with 7Search. And as conversions happen, they will fire inside of uh, Tracking 202 or Prosper 202, and also they'll show up in your 7Search as well, so it will allow you to optimize your campaigns in both areas.